Hey everyone, in this video I want to create a Google Form that is being used as part of a survey experiment uh, where we are going to ask um, users to take the same set of questions but we are going to give them a different video to watch or a different sound bite to listen to, maybe a different image to look at. Um, in fact, it could be the exact same survey, but the questions are simply worded differently um, in order to, to kind of see what the, the results or what the impact um, is based on those that one changed variable. Uh, so in the previous video, I showed you how to create a survey with the Likert scale, so I will briefly go through that as we're doing this, but I'm going to start um, simply by in my forms.google.com, I'm going to create um, the survey and I'm going to remind you that you can have a different name for the file than the survey name. Now that's important because I want the survey to look exactly the same um, to the people that are taking it. I don't want to say this is survey A or survey B. Um, but over here, I'm going to call this um, sample survey A. Um, but in here, I'm going to really call this, you know, just my sample survey. So when a uh, participant takes the survey, they're going to have this. Now, in the previous video, I showed how you can use sections in order to add an informed consent. Um, so I'm not going to cover that in this. Uh, what I am going to cover is how to add the different uh, materials and then how to duplicate that survey and change that one um, item. So. Let's start with what I think is probably the simplest one, and that is adding an image to the survey. So for example, I am going to add an image uh, at the very top of this. And when you add an image, you have choices. You can upload it from your computer. If you already have it in your Google Photos or on your Google Drive, you can do that. Um, if you're creating this right from your phone, you could take a picture of something and upload it. You can use the Google image search, or if you know the URL um, to the image, you can go ahead. I'm just gonna upload an image in this case. Uh, so I have them open here on my computer. So here's a picture of me. And I'm just going to say um, here is figure one one, for example. Uh, you can do some different things with that that image, such as resize it. Like I don't necessarily need it to be quite that big when I have that in, image in here. But let's say here's the image that they would see, and let's take a look at a question like, um, how likely are you um, to believe? anything this man says. Uh, and I want to do that as a linear scale, a Likert scale um, from one to five, uh, where one is not likely at all. And let's say five is very likely. Now you can, once you create that, remember you can duplicate, if you want to use that same Likert scale for everything, you can simply duplicate questions here um, with the duplicate button that's on the very bottom and ask a couple of different ones like um, how likely are you uh, to trust or whatever it is that you want to ask. So remember to do that. The other thing with those Likert scales, if they get too long, I really recommend using this text um, title and description. Uh, and all that is, and I'm going to grab it and move it up underneath the picture. And all it is is going to be answer the following questions using this scale. Where I would define one is not likely at all, two might be um, uh, very unlikely, three might be somewhat likely you know etc and these are these are these are horrible ones like you can f come up with a better scale because i have very likely here and very unlikely as number two like that's that doesn't make any sense um, but you put in your scale there the reason is that when somebody views this um, they will have the question scale here and they will know what one two three four and five are actually equal to i also recommend that if you're going to end up getting um, too far down, like too many questions, you might want to duplicate some of these things. For example, like if I only want two questions per page, I'm going to, at the very bottom, add a section, and I can even duplicate this 
and move it down here and say like, okay, here is the um, the picture that's going to be at the top of that section. Keep in mind, I could also put the scale right underneath this picture uh, or up in here as well. I take that back. I don't think I I can put the the scale in there. So I would have to duplicate my scale and bring it down. So I, I have complete control over the layout and then I could ask a couple of more questions. Now, what you're going to do is save this survey. Um, you're going to need to grab this link. Uh, so I'm going to do a couple of things right away. First, I'm going to copy this link and I've shortened it just so that it's easier. That is going to be useful for when I distribute the survey. Um, once I copy that, I'm also going to go in to the three dots at the top next to the send button, and I'm going to make a copy of this survey, and I'm going to call this sample survey B. Now, the reason I'm doing that, again, you can see I can tell which survey was being sent by the name, the file name. The, but the survey is exactly the same. I simply want to change this picture. Uh, so I'm going to delete figure 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say add an image. And in this case, I'm going to put another picture of me up here. I'm going to put it in the same spot and try to make it about the same size, all of those types of things, etc and say here is figure one one in this one. Uh, the only thing, since I use this in a couple of places, I'm going to duplicate that and pull it on down here and delete this one. Notice just with the trash menu. Now I have a second survey. All right, I'm going to come back and get that, but the, the real beauty of this is that I am going to have two links. The one that I copied from over here in the send and I went to the link and I shortened it and I copied it. I'm going to take these two links and I'm going to go to a website um, that is allocate.monster and I'm going to paste this link into the first one. I'm going to go over to link number two and send it and get that short link as well. I'm going to copy that and paste it in the second one at this website. I can do up to three on here. Uh, but now, when I click Get Random Redirect Link, I am going to have one link that is going to take you randomly to one of the two surveys. And let me demonstrate that a couple of times here. So I'm going to hit Control Shift N, so I'm in an incognito window. I'm going to paste the link once, and you'll see I'm taken to Survey B. I'm going to make a new window and paste the link again. Survey B again. Paste the link a third time. Still go into Survey B. There we've got one for survey A, but these are just randomly generated. Um, I did it before and did not find, like in this one, it was three in a row, three in a row, and then, you know, maybe I'll get four in a row, who knows. Um, but every time somebody clicks on this link, they are taken to a different survey, right? So you are going to want to create two versions of your Google form. I would recommend saving them as survey A and survey B. Um, I honestly recommend creating the entire survey first as survey A, then going back uh, three dots and duplicating that survey, make a copy of it, call it survey B. Whatever you want to name it is fine. You're going to take the, the link that you use when you would normally send it, the email link or whatever you want to call it, the URL. You're going to take that to allocate monster paste them too. So notice the two different versions of the survey, it will give you one link. That is the link that you would end up sharing um, sharing with people that are going to take the survey in whatever way that you're distributing that. When they click on the link, they will be taken to a random version of that survey. So the last thing I wanted to do uh, is also show you that you could do this with a different video or a different audio clip. So let me go to survey A and just show you how to add those things. Um, video, it's highly recommended that this video be something that is on YouTube um, because it's built right in. In fact, I don't know if there's a diff there, there probably are different ways to watch videos from Vimeo or other places similar to how we do the sound clip. Uh, but to, 
let's delete this and say if I wanted to add a video uh, you'll notice that I can search for it or I can paste the YouTube URL there um, so for example uh, I probably have a video over here and paste the link in and search for it and here's a great statistics video that you can watch if you're um, feeling so inclined and you could say watch this video then answer the questions right if you wanted to do the same thing with a soundbite it really will require you that in your Google Drive the same Google Drive that you're working with uh, with this form in your Google Drive you're gonna want to copy um, or upload the two little sound bites. In this case, they are M4A files, MP3 files, whatever they are as the little sound bite. Um, but the only way to in, embed those into the form is to right click on it, get the shareable link so that someone could listen to that sound bite, and then go into your Google form and wherever you would want that sound bite, just use that same um, text, title, description, whatever you want to call it and paste the link say listen to the following and I'm going to paste the link that's a link to my Google Drive with that soundbite so now when somebody um, well, I'll preview this now when somebody is taking this survey they're going to have a link um, it's going to open up and give them a little player to play the soundbite in their browser and then complete the survey. If you wanted to change that, you would copy the survey, just change the file to the other one. Uh, but hopefully that will get you started on creating a simple survey that is an AB or even an ABC test. Use the site uh, allocate.monster to share those two links and get a single link that someone would press in order to complete the survey.